How's it going everybody? This is Ruby and this really isn't a machine tutorial. This is more of a industrial craft tutorial. Today we're going to be going over the three different transformers. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put up some an annotations on the screen right now to where you can skip to the part of the video that you need to watch because I'm going to separate all three of these out so that if you're just trying to learn about the high voltage transformer you don't have to watch the low voltage and the medium voltage although I do recommend that you watch all three just to have a better understanding on how they all work. The first transformer we're going to be taking a look at is the low voltage transformer. The low voltage transformer takes medium voltage which is 128 EU per tick and it brings it down to 32 EU per tick. It has a limited transfer rate of up to 128 EU per tick. If you put a redstone signal on the low voltage transformer, it'll flip the sides and the, of the input and output. So you bring in uh, 32 and it'll put out 128. The recipe for the low voltage transformer is going to be four wood planks. And it can be any of the wood planks that are within Feed the Beast to my knowledge. It's going to be three copper in the middle and then two copper cables on the top and bottom and that's for the low voltage transformer. The low voltage transformer is mainly used to take as we said 128 and then safely bring it down to 32 because as you see this electric furnace doesn't have any transformer upgrades because if I supplied the electric furnace with 128 it's gonna blow up so this is taking 128 making it 32 and then safely giving it to the electric furnace. To pick up the transformers, to pick up the low voltage one, you just need a regular old pick, even a wooden pick works, and you get the low voltage transformer. The next transformer we're going to take a look at is the medium voltage transformer. The medium voltage transformer takes high voltage, which is 512 EU per tick, and then brings it down to 128 EU per tick. The recipe for the medium voltage transformer is going to be two double insulated gold cables and a regular machine block. The medium voltage transformer has a limited transfer rate of up to 512 EU per tick. If you put a redstone signal on the medium voltage transformer, it's going to flip its input and output. So you're going to bring in 128 and it'll put out 512. Some uses for the medium voltage transformer is as you can see, I'm putting out 512 EU per tick. And it's coming into the medium voltage transformer, which is bringing it down to 128. And then it's bringing it into this induction furnace, which can only receive up to 128 EU per tick. To pick up the medium voltage transformer, you can use almost any kind of wrench except the one that's kind of brass or bronze looking. But in this example, I'm just going to be using the electric wrench. And as we can see there, we got it. The next transformer we're going to be taking a look at is the high voltage transformer. The high voltage transformer takes extreme voltage, which is 512 plus EU per tick. So that's anywhere from 512 up to 2048 EU per tick. It then takes that extreme voltage and brings it down to just high voltage, which is 512 EU per tick. It has a limited transfer rate of up to 2048 EU per tick, and it can actually handle up to 8192 EU per tick which is kind of you can just put it straight on the super condensator if you put a redstone signal on the high voltage transformer it's gonna flip its input and output so you'll bring in only 512 but it'll put out as much as it can some uses for the high voltage transformer is for example we have this putting out 2048 EU per tick it's then coming into the high voltage transformer and then it's coming out to a matter fabricator. Now a matter fabricator could just take the full 2000. However, I didn't want to put any basic machines like the electric furnace on this example and use transformer upgrades just to save from the confusion of everything. And it's going to be the same for the high voltage one. And there we go. Another thing that I just want to cover is you have to remember the side with the three holes on it is going to be your higher voltage input. So like this is a medium voltage transformer. So I would then put in 512 EU per tick, but then only put out 128. Like most of the other machines, the side with just the single dots are going to be your output. So we can see we got an output there, output there, output there, output there, and output there. 
So to cover what I was talking about, how putting too much uh, voltage into the transformers, as we see here, this AESU is putting out 129 EU per tick. Now the low voltage transformer can only take up to 128, which is medium voltage and bring it down to 32. So if I was to put this low voltage transformer on here, we can see it blew up because it's not going to work. It's just one EU per tick over. So it just won't even do anything. It'll just blow up and nothing will work. That's going to conclude today's video. If you have any questions regarding this, please feel free to leave it in the comments below on the video or send me a private message on YouTube. I read all my comments and all of my messages, so I will get to your question. I know a lot of this EU stuff is really confusing, so I, it's really not a problem to send me a message or leave me a comment. If you did enjoy this video or if it did help you out, a rating would be much appreciated. And subscribe, as I always have new tutorials coming out almost every other day. Thank you.